what 15 million rand looks like. It is our top story uh, this morning at 7 o'clock. It's an open field with a few stands. 15 million rand on this. Yeah, the uh, Leicenton Sports Facility near Kumani in the Eastern Cape <laughs> was unveiled on Monday and the Inokumkijima local municipality is currently being asked what the money was actually spent on. That's right. Let's go over to our reporter, Aviwe Mtila, who's at the facility uh, this morning. Hello to you, Aviwe. Does it look like 15 million rand well spent? Well, even the price is debatable at this stage, Gareth, because on the ribbon cutting that we saw on Monday, they're saying that this sports facility, the Lacington Sports Facility, um, opened by the Enoch Mkijima local municipality, cost the tune of 15 million rand. But in papers that we've seen from the actual construction company they made it, um, they say that this facility cost... 22 million rand so there's already a 7 million rand discrepancy in terms of the pricing itself but i want you to judge for yourself if any of this makes sense to you or if any of it amounts to the 15 or the 22 million rand itself um this is the track i'm going to ask my colleague Nevan Zananiso to show you the state of the art track that they say is a state of the art track which is merely grass and it's with, with just basic um, uh, lining there and the sports facility itself they say that um, it's two fields a soccer and a rugby field but it's actually just one field that caters for both the only bit of construction that we can see um, is just across there which we understand is the um, changing rooms one of them and with accompanied by those water tanks and so on and then on the side is two stands uh, um, for the audience here. Yeah. All of this is said to have cost some 15 to 22 million rand, something that we want to catch up with, with the Enoch Mkijima local municipality. Uh, it looks some shoddy workmanship. Um, um, uh, you judge for yourself, but from what I can see at this very moment, the numbers do not add up. In fact, I'm going to bring in someone who's quite vocal when it comes to the sports fraternity in the Eastern Cape, uh, Pumelele Sati. Um, who was here when this facility was opened on the Monday. Thank you for joining us at ENCA. But, um, but 15 million rand or 22 million rand, really, is, is this really um, the price tag that should be um, put here? Uh, to be quite honest with you, um, from what I've seen and from what I've heard from, from, many, from many people, from many sectors, it doesn't look like the numbers add up. But we, as a sports fraternity, all we care, we, all we care about is that we get a sports facility that we can play on, um, and then uh, the numbers as how much and all of that will be taken care of by the politician, will be taken care of by whoever is uh, is competent to do such. Okay, and then in terms of what's been done then since the Monday, because there's been a huge social media uproar when it comes here, yeah? I understand there's been a delegation even to come and assess here. Yeah? Um, what can you tell us about this? Um, I heard that the, the ANC Provincial Executive Committee was coming to, to Inokum Kichima, and I also heard that the MEC, Goyle um, Ngata, uh, was also uh, demanding answers. Um, I'm afraid from what I saw yesterday, it was just a, a, an ANC event uh, here in the field. And I'm sure that maybe internally they were doing it. But uh, from what I saw, it didn't look like uh, there was any, any, any sort of interrogation and all of that. Maybe they did it behind closed doors, but we, as the people who were here, didn't see any of such. Okay, you were in the pictures on the ribbon cutting. What was the mood like, especially from the community or the sporting fraternity, when you see this and you are told the price tag is 15 million rand? Did it make sense? What was the mood like here? Yeah. Um, when I arrived here, yeah, um, I, I stay in Queenstown and I, and, and, and I have half of my, of my team's players that are here in Lovugas. So I'm a quite a frequent visitor of this area. I have been I've been following the construction of this uh, of this facility since 2018. We have been anxiously waiting for it to be finished. So I have been looking at it through the fences. So I was very interested to actually come inside and uh, and see it. But from what I I did warn the municipality when they put it, they put a poster up on Facebook that how do you hand over a facility that has not been watered with a grass looking like that? But they went ahead and did it anyway. So I went inside and came and, and saw for myself. I, look, I did a look around and I was not impressed because the grass is still, is still dormant as if it's still winter. 
and when I then said that, okay, let me just look around at other fields in, 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 the, in, in, in the town. And I saw them, they were all green, which meant that this one could have been green as well. And I doubt that uh, the, the uproar would have been this much if the grass has been green. But all the, all the people saw, they saw dead grass, they saw brown, they, 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 they saw two stands, and they saw nothing else. But as a community that, that, that has been starved of any facility, we, we, we are grateful. But we, that doesn't necessarily mean that we are satisfied with what we are seeing. What does the municipality say to you then when you um, raise these concerns? I'm looking at the soccer post this very moment. You from the soccer fraternity, it looks like it's okay. But the polls, the rugby polls are actually down this very moment. What's the municipality saying um, when you raise these questions? Before the launch or, or the handover, I asked them two things. Do you have a maintenance plan? The answer was no, we're working on it. Uh, secondly, I asked them where are the netball courts? I was told that they, they are in the plans, but they, they, there was a cut in, 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 in the budget and, and then now they are only delivering what we have here. I'm also involved in rugby and I saw the post uh, and, I, and I imagine when there's when, when there wind, what will happen to those posts? So I did raise a lot of these things with them. And I've been ra we, are, we as a sports volunteer have been raising these things with the municipality. Because everywhere they go, they will build something up and then two or three years down the line is broken down. I'll take you around Queenstown and show you the, the other facilities where millions were spent, but there was no maintenance, maintenance plan. Okay, we'll be sure to join you just now. Uh, I can see this facility on its own. Already the posts look like they can't even stand up. Those rugby posts, um, some of the 15 to 22 million rand that we understand um, came to the construction of this place. I actually want to go through some of what, how they justify it, Gareth, because after that social media storm, the ribbon cutting that they post on their Facebook page, they came out to try and clarify um, what amounted to the 15 million rand. So they say the erection of a 780 meter palisade fencing, which we see around here, but I'm not sure how much that would cost. A construction of a rugby and a soccer field, but it's actually a two-in-one. It's both a rugby and a soccer field at the same time without proper lines even. The rugby poles, as I mentioned, aren't even standing up correctly um, this very moment. They say that rock blasting was undertaken as an area comprised mainly of hard rock, which had to be removed to allow for construction, earthquakes, uh, excavation and leveling of the ground. The field itself is not level. I mean, they talk of the, um, they talk of borehole drilling. Borehole drilling, I understand, shouldn't even cost more than 15 to 20,000 rand. Uh, the abolition facility, two blocks, construction of a 14 uh, toilets and eight shower. All of these don't amount to what I understand should be um, 15 million or 22 million according to the construction uh, company, the papers that we've seen there. This is the Olympic track, the Olympic track, Gareth. I'm, I'm just lost for words. It only has two stands and only two buildings with what we know are Jojo tanks, which have been mentioned here as well, um, part of the uh, shower and bench, rainwater catchment area. So... A lot of questions still need to be answered from the municipality itself. We understand the Kokta MEC, Kolile uh, Ngata, is seeking questions uh, themselves. We ourselves have reached out to Lonoa Bokowa, who is the spokesperson of the municipality, hoping to talk to him at the top of eight, just to get more clarity as to exactly um, what happened to the money. Is it the 15 million rand that the municipality has put out, or is it the 22 million rand that the construction company themselves uh, put up? So we'll be keeping you um, abreast with all those developments, hopefully going to um, the other sports facility that Pumela Lassati mentioned here as one of the people that are uh, eagerly involved in sports around Queenstown. I'm taking a look at that same update as well. We talk about rock building, uh, rock blasting, palisade fencing. I mean, just the goals behind you, those are rusted. Didn't this thing just open up the other day, the centre? That inside running lane, uh, Aviwe, where you are walking through, it actually looks like it's off camber. It looks like you'd have one leg slightly higher than the other. And let's not talk about the paint. I mean, if you paid 15 million rand for that paint and it's gone, I'm, I'm horrified. And what borehole water? There's no grass. Uh, Aviwe, go and find some people. Go and hold people accountable as we come back to you later. 15 million rand for that. I hope they kept the receipt.